This whole walkout has really been a civics lesson in state government for the newsroom, quite frankly, and for many of you. And with each day that this drags on, we have more and more questions about what happens next, from the remaining bills to the future of cap and trade, all of it. Our Kristen Severance is here to verify some of those answers tonight. Talk to the Secretary of the Senate and the Chief Clerk for the House, both of whom are nonpartisan for this story. Here are questions. Number one, is a vote on HB 2020 required? The answer, yes. So they don't have to vote on the contents of HB 2020, but per Senate rules, they have to take some sort of action. So it would have to be a motion or a procedural vote, but they can't just say, come back to work and we won't vote on HB 2020. Next, there are 140 bills left. That sounds like a big number to us, but according to our sources, no, 140 bills is not too many. They could get through those bills by Sunday if the Republicans came back to Salem. In fact, this number isn't even atypical. They've had that amount of bills at this time during other sessions. Next question, will agencies be funded? Yes, we can verify the answer to that question. Agencies will have money until September 15th, at which point lawmakers would have to take additional action. Next, I wanna talk about special session. So can the legislature call a special session? Yes, but the Senate and the House would have to be in agreement. So typically the governor would call a special session. We do know she's preparing for one on July 2nd. Back to the special session. If one is called, does the process start over? Again, we can verify that answer is yes. Any bill remaining would have to start at square one. Lastly, during the special session, can they take up any bill? Again, we can verify that answer is yes, but normally during a special session, they have a very narrow focus. Do you have questions about the walkout, about cap and trade? Let us know. We will do our best to verify those answers. Email us at verify at kgw.com.